Hi, I'm Victoria Hargis, and I'm very pleased to be here. I'm about on my way to go visit a client in Wisconsin that I have. And I got thinking about how we achieve things. You see, when my young son, Davey, was alive, he had a, he had a lot of problems. Uh, not the least of which was the seizures that he had all the time. But we had kind of conquered those for the most part, except for about once every three weeks at night when he was sleeping. We had him off his drugs. He was running every day, three miles every day, and eight miles on Saturday. He could brachiate, which is arm over arm on a monkey bar, forward, backward, turning around. He was doing gymnastics. But the one thing he couldn't do yet is write. I think he was around 10 years old, 10, 11 years old, and they decided at the institute that I had taken him to, to put him on a respirator to see if we could pattern his breathing so we could fire up other parts of his brain. And I remember clearly the first time that he was on a respirator. He had to lay flat on his stomach for hours, and I was next to him talking to him, occupying him, so that he wasn't bored. And he picked up a pencil, and he wrote for the first time a sentence, and he wrote it completely backwards. But he wrote. You know, we work so hard sometimes in our lives to accomplish a goal that we forget about the victories along the way. We didn't expect Davy to start writing when we put him on a respirator. We didn't expect much of anything other than it was going to take a lot of months if not years to get him to the point where he would be seizure free. But when he was on the respirator for the first time he wrote. A lot of times when we're in our lives and we're working and we work so hard at reaching a goal that we sometimes forget all the little victories along the way. I know I do. So for today, my plan is to remember the victory along the way. It might be only a small success, but it's a success along the way. Where in your life are you not paying attention to your successes and looking only at how far you have to go or how many failures that you have? What if just for today you remember all the successes that you've had in your life? And sometimes the success can be as simple as I've made it to 62 years and I'm still standing and still fighting and still there participating in life. Just for today.